Auto 7. Okay, I didn't call it the Auto 7. It's a, you say an Auto 7. Auto 7. Yeah, we'll come back to that. Looks like we got a little bag of cartilages, cartilages right there. Auto 7. So I got some learning to do uh, to figure out how to. Auto 7. Uh, yeah, figure out how to uh, use my new shop assistant. Craftman's out here trying to rejuvenate. A few years ago, Craftman heavily relied on my magic arm right there. Man, Frodo, you ain't got that rain back yet. Oh, my bad, look. What I used to would do was I used these things with my super clamps right there. That little industry standard of baby pin size right there fits right into Now see, for my lights, I use these little bitty lights right here, see that? And, you know, a little bit of arm can hold them up. That's no problem. But if I go to set my camera on it or my microphone, oh, it don't take nothing. It's falling over, see that? But you pay for the convenience of that big knob right there, controlling one, two, three points. And it's not exactly a cheap piece of uh, a hardware right there. Now, man, look. Look at that. Oh, Craft Man. It's broke, Craft Man. Just buy you a replacement one. Well, I did. And so, I used this for a little while. And look. They can't hold nothing. Now, why come this is so important for me to get the magic arms fixed? Well, because I'm always tripping, always tripping on my fry pie. So I said, you know what? Let's take this thing apart. Oh, another thing I did. Look, see that air conditioner? I painted it a uh, charcoal looking. Let's take this thing apart and see what the problem is. And what the problem is, is, uh, see that right there? That's brass. And that's wall out. See the threads? Got some, got some stuff going on right there. Let me try to keep that stack together. So that's the original bolt that comes with the magic arm. And I just got me, you know, a carrier's bolt from the hardware store. Just got a thread all the way down. Now, I think it's gonna work and give us a little a extra back bite right there. You know that we might be missing. All right, so. Uh, actually, I was going to take this out, but uh, what if we just put the torch to it, let it heat up, and let that heat conduct, and then, Softify, a little bit gently meltify that plastic and then pull, pull that brass nut out of the door. Now before I do any kind of uh, heating up and, and release some fumes into that, uh, I'm going to either put on my respirator and or put a fume extractor next to this or get some cross ventilation or take it out on the porch. Really I'm doing it in here so I can vet out it, but I would encourage you to never any kind of plastic like that, heat it up and release those fumes in a contained space without a respiratory protection. All right, please. Ain't that right, Auto 7? Auto 7. Yeah. That's my man right there. So as best I can tell, uh, we should be able to fix it. To fix the whole thing, just replacing that brass nut right there. I sitting there thinking I might even want to add some little uh, grooves to this or some grip to that plastic. Now 
not using a heat gun and sculpting tool to close the plastic in around the brass nut. It's not the prettiest job, you know, but let's test it out. Yeah, that's a good feeling right there. That's how it's supposed to work. First, we'll attach the microphone. Now I'm attaching the camera bracket. The microphone is lightweight, but the camera uh, is not. Here's what it looks like if you are a camera. All right. It's holding. It's holding it up. Uh, I can't believe it's holding it up. The camera, cage, lens, and all. Uh, and by the way, this right here is the way I used to make videos. Basically, I would sit here and I would show you. Uh, let me get something. In today's video, we're going to talk about easing mode. And then, you know, I would say whatever I need to say about it. It's a one-to-one -one mixture. You mix the A part to B part. Then I get this all in one shot. I talk and I do my hands right there. But then I'm going to take the camera down. I'm going to set out, you know, and then get some little ooh, B-roll shots like that right there. So I'm able to make videos a lot easier during the fall time, the winter time, but when it's summertime, when it's summertime, my shot count goes way up high because I don't have a narrative because the loud air conditioner is running. So I'm not able to talk while I shoot. What I mean is, the builds happen in tiny steps. And since I'm not explaining in camera, using words, I feel the need to visually capture every step. Then I go to the house and I record my voiceover on the computer, like I'm doing right now. Voiceover is nice because when I'm out at the shop, I don't have to focus on what I'm saying on my words. I can just get the visual action. But what happens is I wind up getting way more footage because I don't really know precisely what I need to capture. I just know I'm going to need pretty much every little angle, every little thing I can get so I can tell my story when I go to edit it. But if I'm being honest, it's way easier to just make videos where you're talking right here real time. It also has a little bit of extra uh, magic to it, so to speak, because, you know, things can happen and you can react in real time and it's genuine and it's scripted. All right, so that's what I've been using and it requires a battery. So what I have been wanting to go back to, I realize I'm talking it. Oh, okay. Anyway, <laughs> this is the one I've been using, this microphone. But what I want to do is come back to using my direct power shotgun microphone that can be stayed plugged in. So I got my my uh, my B camera that I don't really use anymore because I've only got a uh, one. Let me show you that. I've only got the one recording device. Ooh, look. And so I don't do two cameras simultaneously shooting anymore, but I still every once in a while break this one out and do this right here. Watch this. Then I can show y'all. Oh, come on. Let's... Where is the focus on this one? Now? You know, I'm just walking all around. I'm not tripping on no tripod, nothing. Look, that's pretty neat. So with this setup, uh, this is a technically supposed to be a better microphone, number one, but uh, also it's continuously powered. So that means I ain't got to swap a battery out or I ain't got to plug it in USB charger. I like uh, continuous power. But extra importantly, my microphone is now segregated from my camera. Uh, I can just sit right here and talk, even if the air is running, hopefully, but Let's do a test real quick and see something. All right, so 
If I talk directly into the shotgun mic, what does that sound like? I think it's still going to be too loud. Two things, a couple of things. If I did not want to change my AC, I would have to uh, either reorient my microphone away from it because it's directional, or I could give me a dynamic microphone like I use for my voiceover, which has noise canceling capability. I think Craftman going to have to break down and get a mini split. What do y'all think? That's what my wife wants me to do, but I don't like I don't like buying a new air conditioner. But I might have to. All right, let's see if we can get a little man here program for crafting assistance. All right, auto seven. All right, hand me the craft knife, the metal one. Ah. Maybe slower next time, Auto 7. All right. Auto, please play some inspirational crafting music. Please. All right, let's, let's try a different cartridge. All right, let's just, oh. Uh, I might be supposed to turn it off before I, uh, let's just, let's just. All right. Auto 7, uh, please, yes. Please say something inspirational. Thank you, Master, you're your goodbye center. Dang, Auto, multicultural. So, why does Craftman have a robotic assistant? Well, my last uh, assistant turned out to be quite unpredictable, as they say. Maybe he can help respond to technical questions online. Hi, Otto. Otto 7. Okay. Speaking of online, if you're on Facebook, check out Crafters of the Universe. And if you're on Discord, consider joining the Static Crafting server. These are pretty fantastic communities for fellow crafters to share work, get help and feedback, or just shoot the breeze. Check them out. Continue please to bear with me as I, uh, you know, Always trying to figure out a better way to bring y'all better video. For Auto 7, I am the craftsman instead of crafting. <laughs> yeah. And we want to wish you happy crafting and thank you for watching. Uh, what else, Auto? Yeah, smash the like button. What else, Auto? <gasps> That's right. Uh, direct supporters, look out for the, uh, what we call it, Steady Crafting After Show. It's just some behind the scene glimpses and me just casual, you know. Yeah. Until next time, I love y'all and keep on. Keep on, keep on Steady Crafting. All right. Oh, that's seven.